Welcome to a short video on how to use the modular setup programs for the Eigenheart. Okay, first starting point, since all of the modular setup programs are in GitHub, is to go to github.com. First thing for you to do is to register. It's all free, so just do that. Second thing to do is then install um, a GitHub application for your Mac. Strictly this isn't necessary, but it's the easiest way to do it. So if you just download this, that will work fine. Once that downloads, down here, you can start the GitHub application. I'm just clicking on it. Okay, and then it'll ask you to move to the application folder. Well, we can do that. It'll restart, and that's fine. Next thing to do is to go back here and to sign in with your account, if you haven't done already. I've obviously signed in. Once you do that, you can then go to the Eigenharp repository. So it's github.com slash the techno bear slash Eigenharp. This is where I store all of my Eigenharp things. Now it's simply you can just click in the clone in Mac button and this will load it into the application. As you can see here, it asks where you want to basically copy a version of that repository onto your local machine. Okay, whilst that's doing that, the advantage of running this application is that with one click inside the GitHub application, you can actually download all of the changes. Okay, so you can see now that this is done. Um, and if we now go to my hard disk over here, we can now see in my home directory, I have an Eigenheart directory, which is a copy of what's in the repository. Now, the important thing here is that obviously in this iGitHub application, you can actually see the changes that have recently been made. Uh, so as changes are made, you can see them. And this button up here, the sync branch, will download all changes that have happened since the last time you tried. So this is the reason I would, I would suggest this. Now, now we want to try to do the modular setup. So to run the modular setup, we need eigend running. Now I automatically load the blank setup, but you should load a blank setup if you've not. Now we can start Workbench, just so we can actually see what's going on. And that's, you can see it's a blank setup, so nothing very interesting. Okay, so now we can actually create a setup. So we're gonna just use the basic audio setup. So inside Eigenheart scripts, modular, in we can see create setup command. Oh, yeah, so we just run this. And we set, we can see a window down here, which basically is asking what we do. We're going to set a create a setup for the Pico. So we need a Pico here. Now it's asking you for the config name that you actually want to run. We're going to try the basic audio. You can actually drag and drop this from this. So if you select the config directory, select the basic audio config, and then drag that file down into this window. And then on this window, make sure it's selected and then press enter. And you can see that it's actually now started to run. And you can see also in Workbench that things are starting to happen. Everything gets put to the left-hand side, but then we can actually start immediately dragging these things around to make it a little prettier. Um, and this is, basically all you need to actually do. Uh, put the console mixer over here, play a group, and then a simple do that's it. And finally the audio unit. Now there's a couple of things that you may want to set up. You can see that down here, the create setup printer has finished running and you can see all the commands executed and you can see okay next to them all. We can close that now. Two things to get it running that you'll need to do. Put it into edit mode here, you can go into audio, and here you'll need to select the audio port, so built-in audio. 
And the next thing you will need to do is inside the audio unit, we can open that and just select a plugin again. Uh, we can just move these around a bit, make it a bit prettier. So inside the audio unit, we can select a plugin. So anyone I have installed is Alchemy. Okay, close that. That. Close that, and then we should be able to get some sound. Well, and that's it running.